Okay, next. An isosceles triangle has a 10-inch base and two 13-inch sides. What other value can the base have and still yield a triangle with the same area? So let's say this is our triangle. Isosceles daw, no? So ito ay 10-inch. Okay, and then this is 13 and also 13. So yun yung uh, equal sides. Okay, so uh, ano daw yung iba pang triangle? Na of course, same yung ano. Same na ito ay 13 pa din. Pero iba yung base. Pero yung area, same lang. Bali yung area nito, same lang sa area nito. Okay, so dito natin sa area na ito. Uh, we can calculate actually the area here. So all we have to do is pwede kang mag-cosine law. Hanapin mo tong angle na to. Tapos, scissors rule. O di kaya, pwede ka rin mag formula, no? Pero ako, ang gagawin ko lang dito is, uh, kunin natin altitude, total, isosceles naman. So, definitely, uh, equal etong side na to. So, tig 5 eto. So, dahil eto ay 5, makukumpit mo na yung height na to, no? Which is, using Pythagorean theorem, lalabas dyan ay 12. Si Pythagorean triple. So, ibig sabihin yung altitude natin ay 12. So, therefore, yung area natin is 1 half base times height which is equal to 60. Okay? So, yung area. So, dito kailangan, ganun pa rin yung maging area, no? So, yung area to dapat 60 pa din. Pero, kailangan mag-solve natin ibang B, no? And how do we do that? So, I will apply the same concept. Bali, dahil nag-iba yung B, mag-iiba rin yung H, no? Kasi ito ay magiging B over 2, B over 2. So, uh, actually, ang area nito is equal sa 1 half BH. Pero... Dahil hindi, hindi natin alam kung ano yung H, kailangan natin isolve yung H in terms of B. So again, using Pythagorean theorem. So lalabas, we have H squared plus B over 2 squared is equal to 13 squared. Okay? And solving for um, uh, solving for probably B, uh, H, no? <clears throat> solving for H, we have Thirteen squared minus b over so going to b over four squared tapos square root. Okay. <clears throat> so therefore, our area which is sixty would be equal to one half b tapos yung h natin in terms of b na so thirteen squared minus b squared over four. And from here, all we have to do is to solve for b. now. So we have 60 equals 1 half times B times square root of 13 squared minus squared over 4N. So dito lang, kailangan lang, we have to be careful. Kasi pag halimbawa, ginawa mong B ay, initial X mo ay 10, lalabas dyan 10. No? So ang hinahanap kasi natin, yung isa pang root, no? ito kasi yung isang root. So, yung isa pang root would be, so, tingin ka, tingin ka na lang sa choices, mamili ka na lang dyan, kunwari 20. So, lalabas na ngayon yung nearest doon, which is 24. So, our answer here would be 24. Okay, and that is letter B. So, that's how we solve this problem. Mm -hmm.